Hey guys, welcome back to the Kubernetes series. If we look at the MongoDB deployment or stateful set we created in the previous sections of this series, we have configured few properties like username, password, etc. This way, we can easily change them without rebuilding the actual image. In this section, we will learn how to pass the same configuration data to containers using config maps and secrets with complete hands-on. So without any further delay, let's get started. Whenever we develop any application, we should not hard code the properties which change for each environment. Instead, we should configure those properties so that we don't need to rebuild the image whenever these values change. All we do is just pass those values from outside. That way, we can reuse the same image for different environments like dev, QA, staging and production. There are three different ways we can give the configuration data to any application. Passing as arguments, configuration files and using environment variables. We tried a couple of them already. But hard coding this data even in the pod definition is not a good idea as we need different pod definitions for each environment. To reuse the same pod definition in different environments, it makes sense to define the configuration data in a common place and refer to that data from the pod descriptor. For this purpose, Kubernetes provides two special types of volumes which are config map and secret. These two Kubernetes resources are used for setting configuration data separately from pod manifest files. Let us learn about these two special resources in detail starting with config map. Config map is a Kubernetes object that lets you store configuration which can be used in different applications. Let us try to create a simple config map and see how it can be used. Let's go to VS Code and create a file with name mongo iPhone configmap.yaml Just like any other Kubernetes resource, we need API version, kind and metadata. And we can get this information with kubectl api resources grep config map. As you can see, this is the version and this is the kind and this is the short name for the config map. So let's fill this information here. Version is v1, kind is the config map in metadata we can give the name name as mongodb iphone config unlike most kubernetes objects that have a spec a config map has data field so instead of spec we will have data field this data field accepts key value pairs as their values let's configure the username as admin and password as password Basically, we are configuring the MongoDB username and password into a config map. Not only just string values, but we can also define the configuration files in the config map. As an example, we will create a simple MongoDB config file in which we will give the DB path and replica set name. For that, let's add key mongodb.cons and this is the file content. As this is a multi-line string and we want to preserve the new lines, we should give a pipe symbol denoting this as a literal block. Please refer to the YAML section of this series to become a pro at writing YAML. Please note that a config map is not designed to hold large chunks of data. The data stored in a config map cannot exceed 1 MB. If you need to store settings that are larger than this limit, you may want to consider mounting a volume or using a separate database or file service. And for any security reasons, if you don't want anyone to update this config map, just add another attribute with the name immutable with the value true. When this is true, the config map cannot be updated. It can only be deleted and recreated. The default value is false, which means we can edit the config map. For now, let us go with a mutable config map. Now let's try to apply this config map. kubectl apply f mongo config.yam. Oops, there was a typo in the kind. Let's fix that config map. Let's try to apply the same. Perfect. Now the config map is created. We can verify that with kubectl get cm. Cm is the short name for the config map. 
as you can see we have a config map with the name mongodb config with the three keys now that we have a config map let us see how to use it in our mongo stateful set we can use this config map data as environment variables previously we hard coded the username and password instead of hard coding let us try to get this data from the config map that we created so let's delete this and instead of value we should give value from and we should give config map key ref and the key that we are referring from the config map is the username and the config map name is mongodb config this is the config map we just created and this key refers to the key that we defined here let us try to do the same for the password so value from config map key ref Key name is the password and the name of the config map is mongodb config that's it now this container uses the configuration data from the config map if you look at the config map we also define the custom mongodb configuration file let us try to see how we can use this configuration file in the stateful set to use a custom configuration file we should pass that configuration file path when we are starting the mongo so let us try to give the configuration file as an argument iphone iphone config and the configuration file we are loading from slash etc slash mongo but where is this file located how does stateful set pulls this file from the config map in order to mongo to load this file this file should exist on the container so as a first step we should create this file in the container if you are following this series i am sure you know how to create this file you guessed it right using volumes Please note that config map and secrets are special types of volumes. So let us try to mount this special type of config map volume onto the container. For that, we should declare the volumes first. This volumes should be at the containers level. So volumes, and let's give the volume name name as MongoDB config, and the type of the volume is config map, and the name of the config map is mongodb config and as we have three keys in the config map we should give which key should go as a file so we need mongodb.conf and we can give that with items and this is an array so keys mongodb.conf and the path is mongodb.conf so this is the key from the config map and this is the name with which the file is created perfect now that we have the volume defined we should mount this volume into the container so let's go to the volume mount section and let's mount this with the name as mongodb config and the mount path is slash etc slash mongo so as we are giving this replica set name already in the configuration file we can delete this from the command also we can delete the db path from arguments that's it now let's try to apply this stateful set and see what happens kubectl apply iphone f stateful sets dot yaml the stateful set is created let's try to list down the pod kubectl get pods the container is creating let's watch perfect the pods are created kubectl get pods the three pods are running please note that the config map and the pod that uses this config map must be in the same namespace now let's get into the pod and see if the environment variables from our config map and also the configuration from our config map are mounted correctly or not for that kubectl exec iphone it and the pod name iphone iphone bash so now let's list down the environment variables as you can see the username environment variable is here and the password environment variable is here so let's see the configuration file is mounted or not for that cat slash etc slash mongo slash mongodb dot conf as you can see this is the configuration file that we gave in the config map and that is mounted into the container so this way we can use the config map data into a pod please note that config map doesn't differentiate between single line property values and multi line file like values 
what matters is how parts and other objects consume those values we consume these values as environment variables and we consume this value as a file perfect now we have decoupled the configuration from the pod manifest this config map can be used by any number of pods if we want to change this data all we need to change is the config map and it will be reflected in all the pods that use this config map let's update the config map and see let's change the db path from config db to just db and also let's change the username from admin to admin1 let's save it and apply the changes let's come out of the container kubectl apply fnf as you can see the config map is updated now let's get into the pod and see if the values are updated automatically so let's list on the file contents of the mongodb.conf cool it's updated now let's check the environment variables oops it's not updated this is because config maps consumed as volumes are updated automatically but config maps consumed as environment variables are not updated automatically and requires a pod restart so let's restart the pod and see if it is updated or not exit the container so let's delete the pod kubectl delete pod mongo iphone 0 and the pod should automatically get created because we are using the stateful set so now let's get into the same pod and list on the variables and as you can see the environment variable is updated and also we can list on the slash data slash db to see if the data is getting stored there or not as you can see the data is storing in the newly updated location but wait a minute this password is the confidential data and there might be other confidential information like api keys and certificates which we don't want everyone to see to configure such confidential data kubernetes provides another type of volume secrets config maps and secrets are almost same in terms of how we create them and use them the only difference is that secrets are secured the data of the secrets can be encrypted in hcd database Let's create a simple secret and see how it looks like. Mongo iPhone secret dot yaml. Let's copy paste the same config map and try to update it. So instead of config map, it is secret. And let's change the name of this resource to mongodb iPhone secret. And let's give only password in the secret for simplicity. Please note that the data in the secret must be given as base64 encoded data. To encode a text from the command line, all we need to do is echo iphon n and the plain text that we want to encode, pipe base64. So this is the base64 encoded data for the password string. So this is the base64 data. And we can give any number of keys just like we gave in config map. Kubernetes provides different types of secrets. For arbitrary user defined data, we should use opaque secret type. And for storing the basic auth credentials, we should use kubernetes.io slash basic iPhone auth type. So let's give opaque as the type as we are storing the arbitrary data. And to refer to this secret data from the pod, all we need to do is go back to the stateful set and change this config map to secret key ref. And also change the secret name to mongodb iphone secret. That's it. Now this password will be read from the secret. And let's delete the password from the config map. So let's apply them. Let's apply the config map first. Let's apply the secret mongo iphone secret.yml. Now let's try to delete the stateful set and create again. kubectl delete iphone f. Stateful set dot stateful set dot yaml and let's apply again. Perfect, it's created. Let's get into the pod. By the way, control R is used for the searching, and I'm just searching exec so that it will list down all the commands that matches this text. And until you find the command that you want from the history, just keep pressing control R so that you'll get that command. Just enter. Now we are in the pod. And let's try to list down the environment variables. And as you can see, we are getting the data from the secret. Just like we updated the config map, we can update the secrets too. So let's change the password and see. 
control R base 64. So instead of password, I'm just typing password 123, enter, and this is the base 64 encoded data for password 123. I'm just pasting here and applying the secret. The secret is updated. And now let's delete the Mongo iPhone 0 pod and see if it is reflected or not. Control R, delete. So it should recreate the pod. Now let's get into the pod. And as you can see, the password is updated here. Please note that we are encoding this data, not encrypting. This means this can be easily decoded with echo iPhone N. This is base64 encoded data. Pipe base64 iPhone iPhone decode. As you can see, this is the decoded data. So we should make sure to restrict the access to secrets. Also, we can easily read the secrets by getting into the pod, just like we read the environment variables. We will learn more about restricting access to the Kubernetes resources in later sections. So choosing between config map and secret is very simple. If you want to store non-sensitive plain configuration data, just go with config map. And if you want to store any sensitive data, go with secret. And if your configuration data includes both sensitive and non-sensitive data, then you must go with the secrets. That's it for this section. I hope you found it very helpful. My name is Pavanil Tapu and I thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any updates.